keyboard, a piano? He came from God. He came in his Father's name. He came a light. Q4, he six, came camera to six dwell and seven. On he came to set captives free. He came to give sight to the, the, sight to the blind. Three, you're sitting he on came to heal the sick. He came to give life, abundant life. He came to call sinners. He came for me. These are the C2s. These are sissy microphones. Oh. But they have a good sound for being a sissy microphone. This is a critical stage of our setup because we've got to think about how do we get the sound into the sound system, not only for the sound in the room, but then also for our broadcast and then the uh, multi-channel recording. The hard thing about this setup is we have 160, 180 voices uh, 15 feet to my right and then the bigger challenge is right above my head that center cluster and then this whole fur down is full of speakers we do a complete left center right and then just the pure simple physics the more microphones you have open the greater your chance of feedback becomes and that also means your gain before feedback drops down low so it's going to be a, a delicate dance between volume and feedback no wireless on this which makes me happy. Yeah, it's my bread and butter. <laughs> Wires all the way. Um, okay, so also working with the different instruments, we have to figure out which microphone that we have in inventory is gonna work for the best instruments. Typically on brass instruments, I like to use a dynamic microphone. They're gonna handle the higher SPL sand pressure levels, and then they're gonna be a little bit more forgiving um, with some of the harshness of the brass. And our dynamic mics that we have are the SM57s. Uh, we have the Electro Voice ND series. And this is a fun little instrument mic. We call it a goose egg mic. It's a ND468. We have three saxophones. We have two regular saxes and then we have an alto sax. So the two regular saxes, I think they're baritone saxes. I think. Uh, they'll share a Shure SM57 and then the Alto, she'll get her own SM57. Then we have a row of trumpets. They're very bright, they're loud. We have two of the Electro Voice ND767 mics. Uh, we have another saxophone on the back row, which we're going to try the Behringer C2 on that saxophone. We have a trombone, which will get the EV468, and then we have a euphonium, which will get a C2 up high coming down. I wanted to use the C2 to see what type of sound we get from him. I think it's him. And then uh, our choir will be on four of the Audio-Technica Artist Elite 5100s. Stand here, stand here, stand right behind the center chair. Okay. We have nine violins and violas and every one of those is going to get a lavalier microphone this year we've made the purchase to have preamps on all of the lavalier elements so every one of our violins and violas will be hardwired into the system uh, we're using a combination of the mx150 O, which is omni and then we're using the dl4 omni and those are sure elements and then with the three flutes that we have we'll be using a sennheiser shotgun microphone and we'll let the flute just blow right by the microphone. Thank you, Clay. <laughs> okay, there's too many numbers in my head. Uh, three clarinets, they'll be using two of the Artist Elite 5100 microphones, two cellos, so we'll be using one Artist Elite 5100, and then we have a bass clarinet. She'll get a 5100 as well. We're using a, a mic stand adapter made by OnStage just to be able to get some microphones in some unique spots. We'll have a snare, and we'll be using our Artist Elite 5100. And then for the percussion section, we're going to be using Joe's miking technique, the mid-side mic. And gives you the ability to, on the fly, adjust the stereo width of the sound, while at the same time uh, giving you some of the benefits of, say, an XY miking arrangement, where you're picking up the sound from the same spot. So that's a Shure KSM44 studio mic with a 5100 as our out of phase center mic. And then we'll have a narrator. He'll be using our Shure podium mic, which is the Shure MX418S. That's the super cardioid microphone. Then we'll have a couple solos and duets in the choir and they'll be on the Shure wireless mics. So that is how we are miking the orchestra. 
the different mics we're using, the mic placement on the different instruments, and then also how we're trying to reject sound from neighboring instruments and the choir. Thanks for watching.